Is that what we're supposed to do again when this stuff happens? I cannot get warm. Seriously, I've been in the house for hours. I'm still freezing. Feel my face. Hey, Ed, get your cold nose off me. Not my fault. People need windshields. Well, you may get one soon enough. Here's the check from the insurance company. Hang on. They're denying our claim? What? What? Let me see that. Where's the money? There's no check in here. Not putting a check in the envelope is our trick. I don't want it done to me. Here, we're denied because of code 426E. What's 426E? Act of God. We have act of God. We have the comprehensive policy. Remember, you thought it was too expensive, and I said the only other safety net we have is the Hoosier Lotto, so we ended up getting it. You know what? I know those receipts are around here somewhere because we paid those premiums. I remember because we were a little late and the guy was really nice about taking it. Yeah, they're real nice about taking your money. It's giving it back they have a problem with. Well, we are going down there and we're bringing our car so that they can see what they've done with. I am not taking this lying down. So, we have paid our premiums. On time, we are organized people. So just bear with me, I have it right here. Whoops, that's a warranty for the popcorn popper. <laughs> And this is the record for Brick's chicken pox vaccine. Sorry. Take out menu. Oh, another chicken pox vaccine. This one's Brick, too. Oh, so Sue's the one that hasn't been vaccinated, huh? Actually, I just pulled up your file. Yep, you are paid up and covered for acts of God. See? Thank you. So do we get the check from you or, or uh, maybe from that other cubby over there by the coffee? And are those donuts for everybody? Hold on now. Looks like the incident of January 10th is not covered under Acts of God. What? what? A tree branch fell down on our car. How is that not an act of God? Tree made by God, blown down by the wind. More God. That's actually double act of God. We should be getting two checks. Well, according to the inspection, your tree wasn't trimmed properly. Did you ever have it looked at by a certified arborist? Oh, I'm sorry. We're in between arborists right now. What are you talking about? Here's the deal. Unless you trimmed your tree branches to the acceptable length, it's negligence. And how are we supposed to know what the acceptable length is? I'm just going to guess here, but I'm thinking it's the length of a branch that when the wind blows, doesn't fall down on your car. Look, we know an act of God when we see one, okay? We've had rain from our ceiling. We've had floods from our dishwasher. We've had bed bugs, tornadoes, black mold, red ants, a frog infestation. Yeah, frogs. It's the end of days at our house. I am not kidding you. Look, in other people's cases, God works in mysterious ways, but not in ours. With us, he's pretty straightforward. And we are not people who ask for a lot, but we are people who demand what is ours and what is right. And if you cannot get with that, then maybe you need to get your supervisor. Because I don't think that you want good paying customers like us driving away angry. I'm so angry.